I've got some fresh babes for tonight. Ho, oh, that's fine, then we need to get Skiddo then, so that he too can start work immediately. I pity those girls, what they're after is money, money, money. We will give them money but in exchange for the fortunes. Like the story of Esau in the Bible who lost his birthright to Jacob for a plate of food. All we need to do is just to sleep with them, as instructed by the master, with the charmed ring. Even the girls in our cult have also been instructed to use the charms on the boys too. I pity those boys that go out with older women especially. Those women only transfer the glory to themselves. They will just be moving about as living corpses. That's not our business anyway, they are using what they have to get what they need only to just destroy the tomorrow. Oh God, what is happening to me? With all these treatments I'm not getting better, what else must I do? I've even spent almost everything I have yet no improvements. Michael, it's okay. I think we need to follow what Skiddo told us. Let go back to God, he had earlier invited us to Christ. So, Victoria, that's why I invited you here to finish our last discussion. That is the story of Michael, which he gave as a testimony in our church after giving his life to Christ. So, Michael gave his life to Christ in spite of all the atrocities he committed? Yes, God is merciful. No matter how bad a person is God is ready to accept you back. You see, there is no free gift with the devil. After sleeping with so many girls, Michael later contracted an ailment which defied all solution as you heard in his story. He later surrendered his life to Christ, forsook all those evil and dubious ways of getting wealth. You see, having sex outside marriage only exposes one to danger as you heard in the testimony of Michael. But Ma, what about the emotional consequence? You haven't explained that. Emotional consequence is heartbreak. I will buttress this with the story of a lady. Oh God, why am I in this mess? I thought I can make the right choice, having kept myself pure all these years. I thought it was that man that I first had sex with that I would marry. Why did Michael deceive me? Grace, that is okay please. I will advise you to forget about him. Let God heal you by giving your life to Christ. He will give you a new beginning. So, Victoria, you cannot begin to have sex with a man you are not married to simply because he has promised to marry you. Be faithful to God in any relationship by keeping yourself pure, and you won't need to suffer from any disappointment like Grace. Ma, did Grace give her life to Christ? Yes, from her testimony, her friend, Tosin, preached to her. She made her know that keeping yourself pure is good in the sight of God. God cherished purity that is why he chose Virgin Mary to conceive Jesus Christ. The Bible even says that without holiness no man shall see God. But know that without Christ, being a virgin is not a guarantee for happy home. It is just self-righteousness which are like filthy rags before God. After keeping yourself pure, you still need Christ to make the right choice whether as a young man or lady. That is why the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 that trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not unto thine own understanding. Thank you Ma, I'm so, so, grateful. I pray the Lord will help me to make the right choice, 